after putting hundreds of hours into Fallout 4, I've come to one single inescapable conclusion. Bethesda is weird. I'm not really sure what goes on deep within the minds of Todd Howard and his peers, but after seeing the countless strange sights that Fallout 4 has to offer, I'm not really sure if I even want to know. Bethesda has thrown a ton of incredibly strange easter eggs and references into this game, and even now, two months after the game first came out, there are some that still have me scratching my head. So in honor of all the weird sights there are to see in Fallout 4, today I'm going to be counting down 5 of the weirdest things you guys will ever see in this game. To start things off at number 1, we've got a couple of rather strange teddy bear snapshots. This first one can be found at Beantown Brewery and features two teddy bears having sex in the middle of some sort of conveyor belt. And for whatever reason in hell, they're surrounded by a ring of beer caps and have two empty beer bottles right next to them. The thing is, it doesn't end here. There are actually tons of scenes exactly like this across the wasteland. At Medtech, for instance, there are two bears doing the exact same thing in a fridge of all places. Then, inside East Boston Preparatory School, there are two bears getting frisky inside of a locker. I'm not sure if this is Bethesda's way of insinuating something about the kids at East Boston, but whatever the motivation behind all this was, it's weird as hell. Next up, we've got something that's a little bit less on the weird side, and actually more of a really cool easter egg. If you make your way to Backstreet Apparel, in one of the restrooms you'll see a bear with glasses sitting on a toilet and reading a newspaper. At first glance, this might seem pretty out of the blue, but it's actually a reference to the movie Ted, since it did in fact take place in Boston. So in many ways, this one is less of a strange moment, and more of a really cool reference by Bethesda. Do not expect that to continue for the next ones though, because things are about to get a million times weirder. What you're about to see can be found on a bus in Mass Pike Tunnel West, and I gotta say that after hours of thinking about it, I still have no idea what Bethesda was trying to do here. The moment you enter the bus, the first thing you'll see is four teddy bears sitting on a bench with an all are welcome sign right above them. Additionally, at the front of the bus is a teddy bear sitting in the driver's seat, which is pretty strange in and of itself. But as if that wasn't enough, behind the driver is one of the weirdest things you'll ever see in Fallout 4. A teddy bear holding up a bone saw and performing surgery on another bear. A lot of people have been theorizing that the teddy bears represent what certain people were doing in the Fallout universe at the time before the bombs hit, and if that's the case, then I really don't think I want to know the backstory behind this bus. Alright, so remember how I said I spent hours thinking about the last one? Well, this next one I haven't even bothered thinking about, because the second I saw it, I knew I'd never ever be able to make sense of it. If you go to the second floor of the Concord Speakeasy, in the bathroom there are three mannequins gathered around a bathtub with a skeleton in it. Two of them are holding machetes, which is very odd, but what's even weirder is that the third one is holding a plunger, and the skeleton's head has been detached from its body and is now in the toilet. Okay, so I can't even begin to fathom what in the hell was going on here. Did they behead the guy and stick his head in the toilet, then start plunging it? Did they use the plunger to pull his head off his body? Or is Bethesda just trolling us with a scene that purposefully makes no sense? Like I said, I have no idea what happened here, but whatever it was, I can't help but feel really, really sorry for this guy. Ah, the symbol monkey. I'm sure all of you who have played Fallout 4 have run into one of these little guys at some point, and if you're like me, then they probably scare the living crap out of you. I can't tell you how many times I've seen a symbol monkey just start clapping its hands from out of nowhere, and each and every time, it startles me to hell and back. The thing is, none of my experiences even compare to what a friend of mine went through recently. The room you're about to see can be found at the public works maintenance area, and the second you open a certain safe in the room, this happens. All I have to say is that I'm really glad I didn't discover this on my own first, because I probably would have shat myself. Actually, strike that. When I get to this part of the game in my next playthrough, I'm going to shit myself, since this place is just that creepy. Well, alright folks, that is pretty much going to do it for this video. As always, if you enjoyed, be sure to drop me a like down below and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already for more Fallout 4 content in the future. Also, let me know what the weirdest thing that you've encountered in Fallout 4 is down in the comments. Otherwise, I hope you all have an awesome day, and I will see you in my next video.